Daar is nie een boom in die wereld wat soveel symboliek dra soos die krimme taart nie. You know, they say the baobab asked God to make it unique. So um, he lifted it up and planted it upside down so it would live for centuries to come. Ten die tyd wat die krimme taartboom volgroeid is, is dit typies al meer as 500 jare oud. Een boom soos hier die een swaai heel waarschijnlijk al vir 1500 jaar lang oor hier die landskap sette. Maar iets is nie pleis met ons geliefde krimme taartbome in suidelike Afrika nie. Hier die prachtige boom was een klein plankie toe die Faroes nog Egypte regeer het. Dit het ook duisende generaties van ontdekkersreisigers onder sy takke sien voorbij gaan. Maar twee jaar terug, een aand, het alles in mekaar getuimel. Hoekom? Seder 2005 het halfte van die dertien oudste bome in hier die streek in mekaar getuimel. Vijf uit die ses grootste bome het hier die lot getref. Heder van Heerdense familie plaas het die wereldse grootste krimme taartboom gehuisvest, wat een kroeg binnen in die boom gehad het, totdat dit twee jaar gelede gedeeltelik in mekaar gestoord het. I see the tree has collapsed. Um, how did it happen? Do you know how it happened? Um, the scientists have been studying this tree for 20 odd years and they think it's all to do with uh, climate change. Ons het by die Universiteit van Pretoria gaan inloer om met Dr. Grant Hall te gesels en die raaisel van hier die vallende reese te probeer oplos. So what's happening to these uh, unique trees, Doc? Please explain to me. That's actually quite a tricky question. We're not 100% sure yet. It might be that they're in, at the end of their lifespan. It might be some aspect of changing climate that's affecting them. And it's something that we haven't picked up on yet. A lot of the big trees that we've been working on, um, they're in the region of 1,000, 1,500, and up to even 2,000 years old. Um, so they've been around for a long time. They've survived uh, droughts, excessive rainfall periods. They are able to live through difficult times, climatically speaking. What's happening now with the, the big trees that are collapsing, it may be climate, we don't know. It's something we're still trying to explore. Um, or it might be a simple thing as the trees have reached the end of their lifespan and, you know, that's it, they've, they've died. Perfect example is the Chapman's baobab, where all six stems just went, fell like that in one go. They could hear it, the crash from kilometers away. And what might be happening there is the trees might be actually losing structural integrity. So the, the wood, t the tissue that holds up the tree uh, might be losing its strength and the sheer weight of the branches on top, uh, the, high, the heavy branches on top of the tree are pulling them apart. Um, that's, you know, another idea. So it's still a bit of a mystery and we need to, you know, obviously conduct a little bit more work into this to try and figure out what's going on. If you look at the reference books and things like that, it's actually classified as a succulent and in fact it's the largest succulent species in the world. As you can see, they're very, very fibrous and it's hollow in the middle but it's actually a very weak tree because um, as you can see, this wood is just, um, you know, very soft. Structurally, there's not much to hold it up. And a lot of baobabs have literally imploded and in a, in a few days become nothing. A ander theorie is dat aangezien hier die bome toeriste aantrekkelijkhede geword het, die toename en de activiteiten rondom hulle tot een hoorvolgenhoud in die grond kon lei, wat hulle wortels geaffecteer het. Krimme dartbome is al vir een eeuwigheid lang vir ons belangrik en selfs vandag nog is mense en bezighede in Limpopo van hier die bome afhankelijk. So what role do baobabs play for business in the area? It's fantastic because baobab seeds are um, a superfood and so the baobab produce the seeds every year and the villagers up north and towards Venda, they collect all these seeds and they sell um, some of them for oil and the powder they get exported as a superfood. It's like, a, it's like on the same level as Moringa. It's 
a fantastic antioxidant and all those things. Joseph Makova is on the noordelijke hange van the Soutpansberg groot geword en woon vandag nog hier. Sy ma, a plaaslike sankoma, het van hier die bos sy geheimenisse met hom gedeel. Joseph, jy het in hierdie area groot geword en hierdie boom het een baie unieke achtergrond saam met jou geskienis. Vertel ons bykie meer van dit. Jy en die boos ook aan my hanga. Ons pas had ook die goeie sangamant. Ons was ook uit plankie in die ringa, waar die maar die boog, jy en my reheer. So nou my reheer en jy en die maar die heer. Di ene rai tangga nya mesti rujuk kita misionga. Gamu buyu nama gua Mary of Amanda na. Mary marah zane awak kami. Kemarah zane rasu makan Mary. Ini rai wana pon venda. Wujud ayo eba itu kita kerana gamu buyu. Rasu misa mezi nama kuati nama tari. Mesti gamu buyu itu mui ta matari. Ria kau dua hari cuma sahut ka ubi ka samra, walewa. Kerabat art boom spiel a groot rol in verskye kultiere dwars oor suidelike Afrika. Oudstes en stamleiers het iwe lang in alle skadi besluite geneem wat hulle gegloe het dier die boom se gees gelei is. Van hulle kulturele belang tot hulle praktiese gebruike, kerabat art boom troon beslis boe ander plante uit. Maar hulle dra ook een rijk geskienis met hulle saam en is omring dier mythes en legendes waarvan die stories vol betovering is. There was a man that lived in the tree and he repaired the ox wagons as they came over up Africa over the Drachensberg mountains. There are loads and loads of stories about the baobabs. Um, like the Chapman's baobab, the one in Botswana, that was used as a post office tree in more recent times. Uh, and people going up north would leave letters and missives and things there, and people coming south would know to pick up and then take it down south again. Uh, also because the area is incredibly flat, because it stood so tall, um, would have been a good landmark, so it would have been a good place to meet up with people. Um, it's also got uh, Livingston's initials carved into it, so you know, on one of his journeys he came past and put his initials there. There are a number of trees that have been used as Prisons. Uh, yep. There's one up in Kasani, the at the border between Botswana and Namibia. That uh, it's a hollowed uh, tree. Uh, it's got a cavity, and that was used as a prison. There's another one in the north of Namibia, that now currently is used as a church. Well, it's I'll got a couple there. of pews in there. Then obviously there's the famous one, the Sunland Baobab, uh, which are also one of the unfortunate trees that started to collapse, and that's had a pub in it for many, many years. En dis ook die selfde boom met die kroeg wat op Hedderse eiendom gestaan het. So when we um, discovered that uh, it was um, hollow inside, um, my husband decided to, to put his bar inside the tree. And it was uh, also the biggest baobab in the world. Oh, wow. um, it had a 46.8 meter circumference before the collapse. Wanneer die ouderdom van hier die boom die radio koolstof datering bepaal word, aanvaar hulle die gebruik van die jongste moedelike ouderdom van die boom. Maar soos wat die bome verouder, verkrimmel hulle ook in die middel. Dit beteken dat een mens met redelike sekerheid kan aanvaar dat die boom self nog honderde jare ouwer is as die oudste hout in die stam. And do you think this one is still alive or is it um, dead? No, it's definitely still alive. So what happened is the oldest side of the tree is still standing. They have now done radiocarbon dating and they dated this left-hand side to be 1,700 years old. And this side that we had the bar in only 800 years old. And it collapsed 800 years ago and grew up again. Oh, wow. So perhaps it'll still grow. Roots are still attached in places. Looking at the tree right now as we see it, how do you feel about that? I feel so sad because it was such a magnificent tree. It's very, very sad that, that it has collapsed in our lifetime. It's been going for so many years and so many hundreds of years. I mean, so it's, it's, an incredible, um, it's an incredible thing. We were very privileged to have this in our lives and share it with a lot of people.
Stel je voor, krimme tarpome soos hierdie een kon praat, wat sy stories het sou vertel. Hulle kom amper wees voor, asof hulle die selfde respect verdien, as die wat ons aan ons oumas en oupas gee. Op hierdie stadium is die geheim achter hierdie eeuwe ouwe vallende reese echter nog steeds vir ons verborgen.